Hi everyone, this is Theo from ParkerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to review the Strathmore 400 series sketch pad. This was sent to me by Strathmore more than one year ago. If you have been following my YouTube channel for a while, you may have seen this being featured in an earlier video like in January last year. So this is a very basic sketchbook wire bound. This is made in USA. This is 400 series. 400 series is the better quality paper. 500 series is their top of the line paper and the 100 series, 200 and 300 are basically student grade quality paper. The paper is made with 30% recycled material. This is acid free. There are 100 sheets in this sketch pad and this sketch pad is A5 size, they come in different sizes the paper weight is 90 GSM which is not very thick there is a fine green texture on the paper surface let's see what I have been drawing in this sketch pad for the last few days I have been using this sketch pad on the train while I'm commuting to work so these are some drawings that I have drawn on the train so while I'm on the train, I'm actually holding the sketch pad like this and drawing. So one of the advantages of having a wire bound uh, sketch pad like this is you can actually fold it. So it's much smaller to hold, unlike hardcover sketchbook, which is going to be um, like this. Um, the, the other side is going to flip around much and it's going to be quite inconvenient to draw. But having a wire bound sketchbook is quite convenient because you can hold it in one hand quite comfortably. So these are some of the sketches that I have drawn. All these are actually commuters on the public train. I drew them with a pen and ink. The paper has a fine green texture to it and I think it's able to handle ink well even though um, you do see some impression from the lines on the opposite page. So this is not very thick. And this is an accident. I will, my, my pen, my fountain pen wasn't that clean so it had some splotches and the splotches went on the pages and I have to uh, basically discard this page. By the way, the pages are perforated so there are little dotted lines here. This sketchbook is perforated so if you want to you can tear off the pages along this line here. You have to press down hard before you tear it, if not, you're just going to tear this whole piece of paper from the wire. So let me try it to tear this off. So it's quite easy to tear off the pages. And this is the person. This is the lady who is carrying her baby and the head of the baby was really round and I have to draw the baby because I was just intrigued by how round the head uh, was. On the cover of this sketch pad, it mentioned that this sketch pad is best for dry media and indeed it is so. I will not want to use sharpie markers because it's going to go through the pages. I'm going to make a separate video on how to sketch on public trains uh, soon. So um, all these uh, were drawn on the public train. This was drawn yesterday with my friend at a cafe. And while drawing this, I dropped a drop of water on this page and the paper absorbed the water through several pages. So um, the paper is very absorbent. So that's not good for watercolor. It's not good for water medium by the way. Let's flip to the back. So these are some pencil sketches. I think this sketch pack is good for quick sketches, very casual work. If you want to try out composition, you can do so very quickly on this sketch pack. There are 100 pages so if you do not like your composition, you can just tear away the page and start on a new page. There is a slight cream color on the page. It's not perfectly white or bright white. 
This is the fine green texture that you can get with pencils. It has a very fine tooth on the surface. This is a very straightforward product. It's good for dry media, not suitable for wet media. I think it's good for doodling, practicing uh, drawing or tonal values, testing out your composition. There are 100 pages, so you can get a lot of practice. I wouldn't want to do any sort of archival work on the paper because it is only an ID GSM, even though the paper is actually held up quite well over the year it hasn't turned yellow yet and there are no yellow spots so that's great so that's all for today's review if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments section below i have reviewed many strathmore products before so if you want to check out the older reviews the link will be in the video description below thanks for watching see you in the next video Bye.